Hong Kong cancels screening of the Dark Knight as Beijing continues to crack down. The 2008 Batman film even features scenes shot in Hong Kong. How's it going out there? This is WFS, your doctor. And it seems like China has decided to crack down on the outdoor screening of the Dark Knight. Even though some of the shots of the film were filmed in Hong Kong, the Chinese government is really cracking down on films that they find not in line with their way of thinking. City officials in Hong Kong have canceled an outdoor screening of the 2008 Batman movie The Dark Knight, according to the new report from Bloomberg News. No reason was given for the cancellation, but it's seen at the latest sign. It's seen as the latest sign that the Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong is well and truly under, under the control of Beijing censorship regime, something that would have been unthinkable just a few short years ago. The screening of The Dark Knight would have been scheduled for October 27th, was canceled based on the direction from the Hong Kong government office for film, newspaper, and article administrations. According to the Bloomberg, the Marvel film Iron Man is expected to be shown in its place. The Dark Knight, directed by Chris Nolan, is considered one of the best Batman films ever made and features a performance by the late Heath Ledger as the Joker. The film even features scenes shot in Hong Kong, though through that many have been one of the, of, excuse me, though that may have been one of the things the censors objected to. Batman travels to the city to kidnap a corrupt Chinese businessman, as this scene from YouTube demonstrates. Well, for copyright reasons, I can't play this video, but it's a very good scene, and the movie is fantastic. Batman was just a great movie, and Heath Ledger's Joker was phenomenal. Interesting thing about Heath Ledger as the Joker... In the 1989 movie, Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson, Batman, Jack Nicholson's Joker dies at the end of the movie. And Jack Nicholson goes on to make more movies after that. Meanwhile, Heath Ledger, his Joker, lives at the end of the movie, is sent off to Arkham, while the character, the actor who plays the Joker, Heath Ledger, died from an overdose interesting little fact one lived one died just just thought I'd throw that out there that just seems so weird to me Beijing started a major crackdown on pro-democracy protest in Hong Kong in 2019 long before most people suspected the Chinese Communist Party would violate the one country two system policy that had been in place for decades Beijing pushed through a so-called national security law allowing anyone in Hong Kong to, extrad to them extradite to the mainland and the rest is history as far as a liberal dem democracy is concerned for Hong Kongers. Hong Kong officials published a new guidelines in June 21 announcing that the censors would start publishing or prohibiting, excuse me, any movie that's a, that supposedly threatens national security. And anyone who s screens a forbid movie can face harsh penalties. Probably jail. You know, a while back I published a uh, video on YouTube, but I had to delete it because there were some issues with the video. But in that video, I talked about how the film industry, at least 41% of the international market comes from the Chinese people and from the Chinese uh, country, from China, excuse me again. 41% of the international market is made up from Chinese, the Chinese region. And the Chinese government sent a letter out to Warner Brothers and a couple of other movie studios telling them this this past summer that their movies 
are not meeting what they feel are appropriate for the Chinese people. Basically, they told them, your political correctness and your woke agendas are not welcome in this country. And until you start cleaning up the films to our liking, we're not going to air them. So this may be part of the problem, what's going on here. Warner Brothers was definitely targeted, if I'm not mistaken, in that letter. So this may be part of the issue going on right now because the Chinese government are telling the Western world we don't want those type of movies in our country. So it's an interesting battle that's going on. Again, 41% of the international market comes from the Chinese market. Having said that, Boycotting this movie has probably got some people upset and putting Iron Man in its place. Iron Man's a great movie, but this Batman movie was just the best. And I'd like to know what all of you think about this. It's just an interesting debate. I mean, we obviously are not going to have any impact on what happens over there in China, but still it's something interesting to talk about. And in some ways, it's kind of happening here when you've got movie directors out there making movies for specific audiences and then when it doesn't make the money it's supposed to and then the director decides to blame the people who didn't go see the movie because they're they're homophobes they're politically incorrect they just don't like the movie because they're so anti this or anti that they start putting the f people down because it's not a movie that they want to go see and that's just the type of thing that's starting to happen here. There is a form of censorship taking place. If you don't go see my movie, or if you put down my movie, I am going to censor you. I am going to belittle you. I will just do what I can to make you feel about this big. Well, I'd like to know your thoughts on this. Please click the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. And also, please click the like. And if you would be kind, subscribe. I'm WFS, your doctor, and I hope you have a blessed day.